And and look, I'm gonna keep it G. I didn't think that we would be here this day, but we are. So here it is. What's going on guys? You already know what it is. It's your man, Young Chris B, aka Christian Byram. And this is in a snap, man, the first tutorial that I'm gonna give y'all. So what I have for you today is a Photoshop tutorial that is not Photoshop. And what I mean by that, I'm taking a photo that I took, which is, is a terrible photo, but it looks good, you know what I mean? It's grainy, it's kind of blurry, and you fucking blow it up. But at first glance, it's on Instagram, it's fucking A1. So we're gonna use that photo and take some people, some, some, some Tory gates, you know, some lanterns, some bushes, some trees, we're gonna take that out. And we're gonna make it into a pixel, not even a pixel, but a perfect Instagram photo. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. All right, now, let's do it. All right, let's get this to go. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a terrible picture, but it looks good you know, at a decent fucking distance. So, let's go ahead and drop this into Photoshop. How to do that from Lightroom Classic, simply go right here to your development role, right click, export, nope, psych. Uh, yeah, edit in, and if you have the uh, Adobe Creative Suite in the Creative Cloud, you can do this. Otherwise, you can't. So go ahead and edit in Adobe Photoshop 2020. So this is already open. I'm just gonna go here. Let it load for a minute. You know, I got all these windows open. Should be loading. Yeah, you see that read in camera raw format. And here we are, our really grainy, really blurry photo in Adobe Photoshop. Now, you see how good it looks right there? That's what I like. And I also like her. Uh, she's the only woman in a kimono that I got in a scene like this. Like, you can literally see how many people. Um, we're at Fushimi and Nari uh, complex that day. But that's beside the point. We're gonna remove everybody because as a photographer, a creative photographer, especially for Instagram, you're gonna need to know this. So you see what I just did there, right? Just copy and paste that section. So what's easy for me and you know, since I've been doing Photoshop for like 10 years and you know, I know quick and easy fixes, especially for pictures like this that aren't all that great, but are just going straight to Instagram. You can do edits that aren't pixel perfect and the photos will still look pretty good. So let's duplicate that for good measure. And it was a backup. So now we're gonna straight composite everything. Let's see what I did there too, right? Made that, made that window. You, you feel me? So now that that's perfectly copied, we can set that right there. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. So we're gonna take this area and simply copy, paste it, move it right there. So get rid of those folks. Now. What's well, another cool trick we can do to make it, um, you know, more even and more, you know, just, just making it look right. Just flip horizontally. And now it's on the same side as the other small lighted lantern shrine. Level them out, make sure they're on the same level. Boom. Got a good composite already. Um, probably gonna have to remove the um, Tory gates right here. 
just to make the picture look good, but it's fine. You know, nobody's gonna sue us, hopefully. Um, and now we have to get rid of these folks. What I suggest here is more shrubs. So we're gonna do a composite on the ground on this side. Just to get rid of the feet. You also gotta select your layer when you do this. So see that? Select your layer that you wanna copy from. If you don't know Photoshop that is or not. I know some of you guys are seasoned, so copy, paste. Now you have your composite of the floor. I'm gonna drag that right here. So how this is gonna work. I'm gonna show you how to manipulate the perspective of these elements, of these composite pieces. So first I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. You're gonna click command, the command button to change the way you interact with these squares here. These squares control the length and the width in the every dimension of what you're selecting. So, or what you're transforming. So, what I did was Command T and press the Command button on Mac. I think it's Control on PC. And I'm stretching it. See, I'm stretching and manipulating it. Doing that same thing until it kind of matches. You see that? No, no more feet, right? Now. You have to go further with this. Well, not necessarily further, but I don't really work with masks and I feel like they're kind of pointless sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is simply even that edge out and erase. That still doesn't look too good. So I'm gonna go to adjustments, levels, and level the coloring out a little bit. See, see how that's changing? And you want to be very ever so delicate with it so you can see how the details blend and merge so i think right here it's not noticeable that this is indeed a composite so i'm gonna erase that edge a little bit and give it you know some realness erase that edge there give some realness boom got a nice composite floor with no feet you feel that see this is how you do it this is how you do it so now we're gonna replace these people with these shrubs and some treeage or foliage for all this. So now what we're gonna do is get our clone stamp tool. We're gonna to come to know and love this um, as you edit your photos, especially photos like this. And all you do, press the option button on Mac or Alt on PC, left click, and whatever you're selecting is what gets put in that area so we're basically erasing the building with the shrubbery and since the shrubs and trees and whatnot it's pretty it looks pretty uniform right it looks looks real but when you're dealing with like other elements like let's say we were to try to clone stamp um we're trying to clone stamp the bricks on the ground right there, right? I guarantee you it would not look this good. As a matter of fact, it would look pretty stupid because the lines wouldn't even line up. So don't attempt that. Always use a composite for your floors and things like that. And also just, you know, when you're clone stamping trees and stuff, make it, make it, look, make it look pretty decent. So now we're gonna take a piece of this fence, copy, paste, and we got a piece of mendable fence. And we're straight just gonna copy around. Don't even notice it, right? Paste up this mother and child. until they're not noticeable. 
in that area. It's really it's a real it's a real delicate process, and I'm doing it fairly quickly. Some people they do a painstaking job to make sure the photo looks absolutely perfect. And today that is not our goal. Our goal is simply to make it look fucking good, and that's what we're gonna do. So we probably don't need that much fence. I'm gonna delete that now. All we're gonna need now is more flourage from here. So we're gonna take that from here. Or uh, matter of fact, we're gonna take it from here. And place it here. See that, that gets rid of them right there. Manipulate it just a little bit with the control T then selecting your well, con command T and just holding down command to manipulate those boxes. Boom, we have that composite there. See where I'm going? Now, all we have to do is continue to clone stamp the foliage here and hide these folks. Could leave that alone and as a matter of fact we just might so we're just gonna make that look a little bit more respectable uh, kind of erase this hard edge here Put those steps out and as well as that piece of fence make that look a little bit more real by simply erasing the piece of it, making it blend in with whatever is right there. And now we have the undisturbed left side of the photo with our geisha isolated on that left side. Now we have to get this out right. So our composite right here still isn't done, but it's a quick fix. Simply again, Command T. Manipulate, you see? Now this might be a little bit hard because we have to line that up with that. Slant it a little bit. Stretch it out a little bit. And get it to look a little bit like that. What's wrong with the... I'm down. I'm doing a voiceover. Can you be quiet for like 10 minutes? It's all good. So what we're gonna do now is nudge this section just a little teensy bit to the left. And nudge it just vertically a bit. And it's kind of right. So I'm gonna zoom in. As ugly as that is, we're gonna have to do it. Control T again, Command, Command T, and Command this box, move it up a bit vertically. That should be right. It looks aligned, sort of. Nudge so just a little bit. Now it looks like no one's there, right? Boom. No need. And clean this edge up here with a, not a soft round, but a hard round brush. Take that size down, gently trim that black. And if you're gonna do this, also use a mouse, I'm not using one, but like I said, I've been doing this for a long time, so. Doesn't really bother me.
And also, we can kind of fix that too. Since that's already good right there, we can make it a bit more uniform. And also this corner right here, I'm gonna wanna fix that. A lot of this stuff, you can just erase and make well. So don't really worry about it being lined up perfectly because you're, you're just mimicking what's on the bottom layer. So everything doesn't have to be what it was. It can just be that, that simple bottom section and no one who knows is gonna know that that section is supposed to look the way it looks. Really, no one's gonna know actually. So don't even worry about it. Just make sure it looks good. We have to do a soft round on those steps as well. Matter of fact, we just blend that in straight up with the original. Boom, we got a good composite right there. Now, our composite here. Simple. Soft round, erase, oops, small layer. Right around here. Get a little bit bigger. Get all that. See that? Now, I'm gonna do a big, big trick. And do this real simple like. Make that brush kind of big on your original layer. Clone, stamp out those Tory gates and that, that top of that roof. Now again, if you want to be true to the essence of the location, you're gonna have to work extra hard, but I'm just teaching you, so don't, don't freak out. See what I'm doing here? Well, that's the original. But yeah, let's install that. Go back to our composite piece. Hold that up. Boom. Now we're pretty much almost done. The next thing we have to do is get rid of those people or their legs. Take another composite from the original. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you another trick. I'm gonna back this up. So make this its own layer instead of a background layer. Okay it. Put everything in one folder. Duplicate that folder so you can have a backup and merge this into one photo. So now, whatever you take, it selects the entire image instead of a composite. So, move that piece right there. Let's go back to our transform again. Layer. Edit, transform, flip, boom. Put it perfectly because, like I said, been doing this a long time, so I know where shit's supposed to go. Now, let's do the same thing with the steps or the floor, rather. Just copy big sections um, when you're doing this so you can mitigate small details like what I just did. So since it's a bit skewed, I'm just gonna see if it'll be right when we flip it horizontally. And it is. Now we've gotten rid of those people's feet and ankles. Now all we have to do now, like I said before, levels. 
and we're gonna darken it up a bit. So we're gonna take this middle piece, move it over to dark. Saturation. Tone it down a little bit. Play with that saturation. Feel like that's good. This hard line again. So basically, everything's either a hard edge or a hard line. You know what I'm saying? And little pieces you gotta take out. See what I did there? And you can just simply. Do what you need to do to make the photo realistic. I'm gonna literally burn this piece of composite, get it matched a little bit better. Looks all right. Got you a little bit more right here. And then that works, so we gotta go to our shadows. Tone that up. Get that hard edge out. Looks good. Not too in love with that. So we have to see what we can do. That's something as simple as another trick I'm gonna show you right here. Whatever that is, some ground or whatever, I gotta do, take that piece, stretch it across. Go back to your original group, copy that, paste that, take that. Now, I missed the old Photoshop because you can just straight up stretch across, but now they have it all stupid. So, in order to do it, you have to hold shift and boom, take away that element of the photo, get rid of that hardness right there. All I'm gonna do with this again. Merger. But so far, it looks like it is what it is. One little lady, you know, we could take it so far as to place her directly in the middle to make her the focus of the photo. Um, and that will require a lot of other stuff. So, I'll actually do it for you, just to, just to show you the power of Photoshop and that your photos aren't limited to, they aren't limited to the original. You know, there is power, supreme power in post. So, I'm gonna take that little lady, copy and paste her. She should fit in somewhere really nice right there. And all we gotta do is just uh, kind of copy and paste around it. Then take our original composite or take our composite from right here to there. That's how, that's the length of her, of her body. Copy, paste, move that along here. Since it was on the other side, 
course, we're gonna have to transform, flip horizontal. Place that right there. Let's see. Mm. probably hear my music but um boom have that there we can actually again take what we don't need since we kind of overextended it remove that uh, be careful so we can have it match up a tad bit. Me, it's a lot of um, taking composites and moving them where I need them to be. There's no use um, no use trying to make things extremely perfect when you can find perfect parts of the photo and use them for what you need. Tool her out. Just hard eraser. Race around to make make all that good. You don't have to sacrifice that.
<laughs> Boom. Now that's how you create an Instagram photo. Like a literal Instagram photo. All those pictures you see on Instagram, I guarantee you, they were heavily edited. Edited to make it look like the scene was taken just as it is. When in, in reality, it went from that, it went to this, from that. Totally different composition, different focus, just a different overall feel to a way more focused, way more beautiful, and extremely prolific image. All right. Now you can do this with any photo. I don't recommend it. Some photos are fine the way they are. But in this instance, I felt like that subject, she just, she just wasn't a subject in the photo. But now she is, thanks to fucking Photoshop. Well, thanks for watching. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's how it goes. You know, you take a photo and you manipulate it and you make it into your own. Well, more of your own, that is. And, um, you know, I'm glad to help. I'm glad to, you know, share my knowledge and my expertise on things that I've been doing for a while. And, you know, hopefully we can keep doing this. You know, if you continue to support me, if I continue to support you, we're going to keep this going. We're going to keep it up um, until the end of time. So, um, now, if you like this and you want to see more, give me a like and comment on more stuff you want to see. And also, click that subscribe button down there, please. And also, give me a like, too. And follow me on Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram, Krishan Byram, at Krishan Byram, all right? That's all I got for you. This is In A Snap with Krishan Byram, and I'll see you again next time, man. Peace out.